Sarah Palin reveals daughter Willow is engaged to boyfriend Ricky Bailey. Just days after calling police on her son track when he broke into family home and pummeled his father Todd. It is looking like 2018 will be filled with both wedding bells and courtroom gavels for the Palin family. Just four days after police in Wasilla arrested Sarah Palin's oldest son track on domestic violence charges. The former governor of Alaska got a chance to share some good news on Wednesday as she announced her daughter Willow was engaged to be married. Good things happen. My happiest baby girl Willow and Ricky, last night at Rockefeller Center. So, so happy, wrote Sarah. Willow will be tying the knot with her longtime boyfriend Ricky Bailey, who she has been with for the past four years. She posted two photos of the happy couple from Tuesday along with the moment Ricky got down on one knee in front of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Sarah later posted a collage of images that included Willow's ring, Willow with Ricky and an image of her children Bristol, Willow and Trig along with Trick's son Charlie and Ricky. Congrats, Trick and Willow for Eva, read the print at the bottom of the mopped-up announcement. Bristol Palin also posted the photo of the couple in New York City along with a nice close-up of her sister's ring. I am dying. My little sister is getting married. Wrote the mother of three. Willow's other sister, Piper, posted the photo as well sharing how excited she was about the news. The only person who has yet to post about the big news is the bride-to-be, and her incarcerated brother. That announcement came on the heels of the news that Bristol was pregnant with her son Trip. And while things are going better than ever on the East Coast for Willow, it is a much different story back home on the West Coast for Track. Court records show that on Monday Track's ex-wife Britta Hansen filed a petition for a protective order against Track. Britta, who is the mother of Track's six-year-old daughter Kayla, was granted a short-term order by the judge and will be back in court early next month to try and get a long-term order keeping her ex away from her and possibly their daughter. At the same time, Track's ex Jordan Lowy also filed an emergency motion to change the child custody agreement that is in place between the couple. Track and Jordan are the parents of a son Charlie, who is almost two. Meanwhile, Track does not look to be going anywhere soon as he remains behind bars despite his bail being posted over 24 hours ago, unable to come up with either the $5,000 cash bond or find a court-ordered third-party custodian. If his parents or some other family member does not step up soon he may spend Christmas in jail. On December 16, 2017 at 2036 hours, Wasilla police responded to a reported disturbance at a residence in Wasilla, the department spokesperson told Daily Mail. Come on Tuesday of track rest. Following an investigation, track Palin was arrested for domestic violence burglary in the first degree domestic violence assault in the fourth degree and domestic violence criminal mischief in the fourth degree. Palin was transported to the Matt Sue pre-trial facility. An incident report that was included in the young man's charging documents reveals that he broke into his family home through a window after being told by Todd he was not welcome, and then began to hit the man over the head. Todd had tried to keep his son out by meeting him at the door and pointing the gun at him. But Track was able to disarm the man and put him on the floor before beating him bloody. Sarah told police her son, 28, was freaking out and was on some type of medication. After Track assaulted his father, the bloody Todd fled the home followed by Sarah, and Track engaged in a brief standoff with police. Given the nature of actions addressed last night by law enforcement and the charges involved, the Palins are unable to comment further, said Sarah and Todd's lawyer John Tymesson. They ask that the family's privacy is respected during this challenging situation just as others dealing with a struggling family member would also request. Track is not represented by the same lawyer. Track stood on the porch, wrote Officer Adam LaPointe of the Wasilla Police Department. Communication was attempted which failed due to track yelling and calling myself and other officers peasants and telling us to lay our guns on the ground before approaching the residence. He then went inside the house before reappearing on the roof of the garage so he could get a look around the entire property according to Office LaPointe. After that track again went into the house, where he remained for approximately 15 minutes before re-establishing communication with police. Track then turned himself over to police, admitting he had a few beers earlier in the night and had gotten into an argument with his father over the use of a car. Track said he had been talking to his dad, Todd, about a vehicle reads the report. Track stated he had a disagreement and that there had been threats made between them. 
track stated that he then drove over to Todd's house and when he arrived Todd had a gun in his hand, reads Officer Lowpoint's sworn affidavit. When track men looked through the window next to the door he saw Todd point a gun at him. The eldest son of Sarah and Todd then told his father to shoot him several times before deciding to break a window in order to enter the home. Track stated that he went through the broken window and disarmed Todd and put him on the ground, states the affidavit. While Track had Todd on the ground he started hitting Todd in the head. Todd was able to get away from Track and out of the residence.